Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. Previously, we unboxed the M5 Stack card pewter and we checked out all of the features. This time we're going to power it up and see how it behaves out of the box. What's the out of the box experience? And we're also going to look at a variety of images that are available in M5 Burner for the card pewter from M5 Stack. So I've switched it on and you see it's telling you the go button is the return button. So whatever screen you're on, press go and it takes you back. At least it, within this demo program. So let's see. First you can scan for Wi-Fi networks. Hit OK. It's scanning, scanning. And let's see. Wi-Fi networks. All right. So you hit the go button to go back. I like this one, record. Test, 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 test. Test, test. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, go back. All right, chat, ESP Now. You know, I've never covered ESP Now. I want to make a video about ESP Now. I think it sounds like an incredibly interesting option. I'm keenly interested in the IR remote. I saw some images for very full-fledged uh, remote control replacements for televisions. REPL, uh, leave a comment down below if you know what this is. I don't. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a SSH client. You can set your Wi-Fi connection. I'm not going to do that here. Go back out timer now i played around with the, this and it all i saw was the, a clock basically system uptime or system time when i hooked it up to wi-fi it downloaded the time from some uh network service keyboard enables you to connect a bluetooth keyboard or a usb keyboard notes okay sd card mount failed i guess i'll have to put an sd card in here if I uncover anything notable, I'll uh, come back and cover this off again. Last but not least is Hello World. And it's quite simply Hello Card Pewter. Okay, so before I hook this up and start programming it in Arduino IDE or UI Flow, for example, I want, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. The function keys, the various alt keys and function keys also have a tone and it's on the display on the side there kind of a cool feature yeah so before we go break it i want to make sure we can set it back to this the out of body out of box experience so i'm downloading m5 burner that's under m5stack.com software windows mac and linux are available so it just comes down as a zip file and when you open the zip, you don't, it's not an installer or anything. So I just copy it to a folder M5 burner in my documents somewhere. And then you just launch M5 burner. Takes a second to load up here. So the first thing we want to do is select the correct device. And there's card pewter down there. Okay, so you can see we could load UI Flow and program it in UI Flow. I've got a lot of videos showing UI Flow. They're worth checking out. But the next one down, Card Pewter User Demo. And it's official. And I'm, I'm assuming that's what we would burn back to if we want to get back to the out-of-box experience. There's a lot of interesting stuff, though. M5 Launcher. You can launch any binary file from the SD card. I don't know what Bruce Card Pewter does. But you can check out their GitHub. Oh, well, Nemo sounds terrible. Shuts off TVs, projectors, and other devices. Uh, makes up funny SSIDs, random SSIDs. Wi-Fi scanning. Get information about nearby SSIDs. And a captive web portal. With a password grabber. Boy, that sounds pretty nasty. Yeah. Let's see, and then you go down, yeah, saying uh, Brazil has Portuguese language. Evil card pewter. <laughs> it's so evil, they don't even tell you how bad it is when you consider the previous one. Marauder also sounds pretty evil. Leave a comment down below if you see an image you're interested in. Ultimate remote. 
Wow, extensive database contains 3,500 remote profiles from 636 different manufacturers. That's pretty interesting. Shark firmware, no idea what that is. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you see an image you want me to try out. Saturn, firmware to do cool things with card pewter. Identifies known Wi-Fi access point manufacturers. Game Boy Advance, Doom. Uh, somebody did a card pewter user demo plus, and they said, I didn't program it, I just built it. Game Boy for card pewter. Classic Game Boy emulator. All right. Web radio. Micro Hydra. Let's see. I'm not picking up what that's all about. Bad card. <laughs> yeah, there's some interesting, interesting images on here. Oh, you can stream audio from the microphone over Wi-Fi. Well, open source tool, assist law enforcement, security experts in detecting, integrating. Okay. Evil portal for card pewter. Nice. Open Wi-Fi scanner, MP3 player. No idea what Crow OS is. Let's see, card pewter, Bluetooth, and mouse and keyboard. Yeah, it's interesting stuff. Audio spectrum. Another universal TV remote with some extra features. All right. Gemini Chatmate, your AI assistant. Let's see, card dashboard, evil portal, marauder with GPS enabled. Card pewter LoRa chat. Okay, so it uses one of the LoRa modules. Supports chatting over ESP now. Yeah, I want, really want to check out ESP now. All right, Clint clone your remote. Brainwave generator, that sounds interesting. All right, look for the links down below to the product page. That's the M5 stack card pewter. Really, you know, you look at the price. It's out of stock right now. Sign up to be notified. Also, download M5 Burner and check out some of the images and check out the different images for the various devices. Might be interesting for you. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my M5 Stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.